is my walking tour of the University of Memphis Lambeth campus, which used to be Lambeth College. And we're proceeding from Maple Street and going past Carney Johnston Hall. And then on the right is the College Union Building. I've noticed thus far that some of the buildings are not really labeled, so it's a little difficult for me to tell what each building was initially supposed to be. But this is a big stately building. We're looking at one entrance, but there are other entrances, and we're just now coming onto the campus. From inside the campus, there are some other entrances. One of the things I noticed was some really stately trees, some of which are labeled. I can show you the labels on some of them. Trees are one of my particular interests, and so I've looked at the species of the trees, and just guessing from the size of some of these things, they've got to be at least 100 years old, maybe heading toward 200. This one is a beautiful water oak. I don't believe that this one is labeled. Some of the ones on the other end of the campus are labeled as to what they are. This one over here looks like possibly, it is definitely an oak, and I'm thinking maybe, maybe southern red oak. I'm not sure. I'd have to look a little more carefully at it, but that's not really my purpose. Here's another side of the student union building, passing a big blue University of Memphis Tiger. You can tell there's new signage up. This is the Wilder building. You'll notice the architecture at the, at the entrance is very much like the architecture that was at the other end of this building. Again, walking around the quad and looking at the different buildings. This one says it's J.A. Williamson Hall, though it seems to be joined with the Student Union Building. So I'm thinking that those may be two parts of the same building. Very stately campus. Clearly it's been here for a long time. There's a beautiful magnolia tree that looks like a, possibly a ginkgo if I'm saying that correctly. Yep, ginkgo. Here, here's an example of one that's labeled as to what kind of tree it is. That's really good for teaching purposes. And now that I know this is here, this would make a really fun field trip, I think, for my forestry judging team to come out since the trees are labeled. Though most of these are the kind that they would already know. Again, another water oak. Beautiful, huge water oak. Um, some other trees this ooh, that's the first of that kind of tree that I've ever, that I've seen in West Tennessee I really believe that that one may be an American basswood from the look of it over here we've got a beautiful magnolia there's a spire on this looks like a chapel I would say this is probably chapel I know that at the point in our history that we commented on in our second week of reading, the students had to come to chapel every day. It was mandatory. I don't know if this chapel is currently open. I'm here at about 6 o'clock, I think, on a Tuesday. And so I'm thinking it's probably not open. But I'll go up here and see. So far what I've learned about this college is that it started was started by, Pres by the Presbyterians and was quickly taken over within a few years by the Methodists. And it was made into a women's college. It existed as a women's college for many years. There's a plaque that tells about the chapel, Richard E. Womack Memorial Chapel, uh, dedicated to the glory of God and to the Lambeth alumni and Methodist men and women who gave their lives in service to their country. Educator, churchman, administrator, humanitarian, and a devoted Christian, Dr. Womack Lambeth's first president was born November 4, 1882, and, and died January 26, 1970. And you can read the rest of that if you're interested. I'll keep going here. Chapel doors are not open, so we'll keep going.
American Holly. Here's a shrub. Okay, here's another one that says Japanese Flowering Cherry. This tree, and again, labeled. Here is Harris Hall, it says. This looks sort of dormitory-like to me, but I'm not 100% sure without doing a little checking. This looks like it could be a nut tree like a pecan, possibly. It doesn't appear to have a terminal leaflet. I'm going to guess that that one's probably a pecan. Ooh, beautiful. Here is probably a sugar maple. And it's got its seeds on it right now. Big, healthy-looking trees. The trees have clearly been cared for and nurtured here very well. And it kind of, to me, indicates the age of the campus, that it's probably... Well, we know how old it is. Because uh, you read, I read you the sign that started, that when it started. And so, I'm guessing a lot of these trees, maybe not all, but a lot of these trees have probably been there that long. This looks like an elm, an American elm, very likely. Let's see what the sign says. Nope, it's a winged elm. I didn't look close enough. The wings, it says winged elm. The wings are actually on the sides of the um, the little twigs, and I do not see the, the wings on this, but I'm not gonna argue with whoever the arborist was who named the trees. Again, that looks like a pecan to me. I don't see any pecans on it, but that's okay. Sometimes they don't show up every year. Other buildings, there's GJ, I'll have to look at it better, maybe Spangler Hall. GE Spangler Hall. Again, that kind of looks dormitory-like to me. Very beautiful. Old building. Um, this one is Sprague Hall and looking sort of dormitory-like again. You see the the porticos all have the same sort of look to them. Some of the buildings have a lot of windows. Some do not. So it's kind of different uh, from the different buildings. I'm in the middle now, in the middle of the quadrangle, and there's a big flagpole here, which makes me think we might be looking at something important down here at the bottom of that. It says something, Institute, 1884, cornerstone of a wing added to the original MC. F.I. building, and that would be Memphis Conference Female Institute building, very likely, presented to Lambeth College by the class of 1955. Okay, so that's, let's see what's on the other side of this. This says, honoring Lambeth College for contributions to higher education from the grateful citizens of Jackson and Madison County, Tennessee. April 25, I'm sorry, yeah, April 25, 1968. Okay, so these are the two monuments in the center of the quadrangle on either side of the big flagpole. Again, some beautiful trees. This one over here appears to be labeled. Before I read it, let me see if I can figure out what kind. It's definitely an oak, uh, maybe a black oak, I'm not sure. This just says oak, so it doesn't say what kind of oak. Uh, could be southern red, actually, as I look at it. Looks more like a southern red oak to me from the leaf shape. There's another beautiful tree. Going, try not to get too distracted by the trees. We have some pines growing over here, several in a row. Those of you that know much about trees know pines grow much faster um, than the, the hardwoods do, but they're not as useful for some of the some furniture and things like that uh, as the hardwoods are. So the hardwoods are more useful for a variety of things. This is definitely a water oak here. And that could be another American basswood over there. But every one of these trees looks at least 100 years old to me. 
the ones I've been showing you, there's some smaller, more shrubby looking ones. But now this one looks like it could be a black locust. Not 100% sure because black locusts have thorns. I'm not sure that I can see it well enough to see the thorns. Let's go around and see if it has a, a uh, label on it. Do not see a label. So I'm still guessing that.